So uh, I'm here with General Lee. Uh, General Lee is a 1998 Jacobson Homelite LT10 lawn tractor. Uh, I'm going to be entering it in the 2019 All Terrain Lawn Tractor Forum. Uh, the build plan for it is kind of hectic, very hectic. So in the summer 2018, I disassembled the whole thing. I just got parts laying on here at the moment, but I disassembled the whole thing. I got it cleaned up. Up here on the outside, I still got underneath here. I did that December, November, December, something like that. I cleaned it up real nicely. This thing had a massive rust problem. I'll show you the rust right here. And uh, but up, uh, up underneath, I got a little bit more to do, and then it'll be done. Uh, it originally came with a 10 horse. 10 horse Persian Stratton. I'm um, putting a 15 horsepower early 2000s uh, Kohler. It's a uh, overhead valves. It's uh, pressure lubed, and it's got hydraulic lifters. So it's a pretty powerful engine. Well, it's not a V-twin, but it had more power than my 17 and a half horse and my 18 horse Bridge and Stratton Bridge, Bridge and Stratton Intex. Okay? That's why I went with this instead of one of those. Uh, it's got a fuel pump on it. Um, the carb is simple. This is going to be a pretty neat uh, engine. So, I'll bring you all over and look at some details. Alright, so I just had parts come in. I was kind of waiting before I did this, for a couple parts to come in, but a uh, starter just arrived today. It needs a new starter because I kind of left it outside. This looked mint condition after I pressure washed it. I left it outside without the flywheel cover, and it kind of got rusted and got really rusty on the inside of the starter, so I got a new starter. Uh, here's the fuel pump. Um, the engine was too big because, like I said, it came with the old flatty and not an overhead valve, so the overhead valve cover stuck through the grill and I couldn't close the hood, so I drilled new holes and slid the engine back an inch and it still sticks through the grill so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it make it look real nice when I cut it and I'm gonna cut it so the overhead valve cover actually sticks through the grill my phone's dying right here and it'll kinda look like a turbo that's what the look is going for uh, the engine has not been started Hit, oh gosh, September maybe. So I'm going to get that fired up. I got new filter, pre-filter, uh, spark plug, hose clamps, this. I got a shutoff valve on the generator that I'm going to take off because a part just came in for that so I can put it back on. I'm going to have the kills. No, I don't need a shutoff valve. It actually came equipped with one on the bottom of the fuel tank. Freaking brain dead. Uh, i got to edit that out. <laughs> um... It's over here. I'm actually working on it right now. Uh, that's not the correct piece. That's got to go bye-bye. Here's the correct one. Now I'm going to try to soak the original shutoff valve in some diesel. Get that cleaned up. Uh, the tank here, the top piece was cracked. So I was able to find a push mower cap. Uh, these fenders here are fiberglass, I think. Or they're plastic, something like that. Uh, they got a real nice design. Uh, fearless front, he's got a trunk on his Murray. This also has a trunk. This actually come from the factory with a trunk. Because the battery and fuel tank's already under the hood. So this was empty. I don't know what the purpose was. It's getting a pan seat. Um, keeping the shifter. You know, people like to cut them off. Since it's a lawnmower, it's not a lawnmower no more. And they try to turn it into something else. But I like the look of lawnmower. So, I'm keeping that. Uh... This build is getting an MST-206, Peerless MST-206, but I cannot take it out of the southern states until I find a transaxle to stick in the southern states. Uh, it's, it's getting 22 by 12 and a half by 8 Interco Super Swamper, Vamp, Interco Super Swamper TSLs. Uh, the front's going to get 22 by 11 by 8 if I build a solid front axle like Doc Sprocket did on his mule. 
if I don't, and I'm sticking with this original stamp steel axle, I'm going to be running 21 by 7 by 8 Sun F A003. Uh, this actually is pretty beefy. Uh, from pictures I've seen, this is beefier than the Craftsman 2s. Uh, it is beef, definitely beefier than the modern day stamp steel things. So I'm just going to stick with that if I can't build it. Um, it's getting front and rear four bolt hubs, four bolt rims with hubs on the back with keyway and built in bearing hubs for the front. Uh, inside's going to have some axle supports, I mean some supports on the inside to keep it all nice and square. Uh, I'm putting a pull start on it unless I can figure out a way to hook up an alternator. Now a lot of people don't do alternators on vertical shaft transact, tr vertical shaft engines. To be honest, I've never seen anybody do that on a vertical shaft engine. It's always on horizontal shaft engines like this one over here. So I'm tempted to do that. Uh, it's getting a catch can because this thing's going to be high revving machine. My goal is to go about 20-25 with it. Uh, that might be a little bit fast with that huge of a tire on the back. <laughs> um, got this sanded down. This really didn't need to be sanded down that much but I wanted to see what it would look like. You know that western cowhide look so it don't need to be that done that bad uh, it's getting a front winch bumper with the traveler winch a uh, rear bumper i'm not i don't think i'm going to do a rear rack since i have a trunk but i'm am going to do a recovery bumper uh these lights they look rectangular but actually they are round so i'm going to throw some round leds on here uh maybe on the front bumper um yada 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 it's getting snorkeled eventually right now I just got a normal stock and all that filter and all uh, the dash is kind of beat up at the top as you can see the plastic dash on both sides but uh, if you see these pictures I'm going to show you you'll completely understand why it's in that kind of condition alright so you see what I'm saying <laughs> so it's getting push button start uh, tether the switch kill lights etc etc uh, it came equipped from the factory with uh, hood locks, which is really cool. Uh, this first gen is garbage. It really is. But um, I'm sticking first gen back in it. I don't care what anybody says. I really don't. Because I've been, months ago, I was giving crap about it on uh, some Facebook groups. But I didn't even need to say that. But yeah. Um. Generally themed, I'm going to do the stock orange and black again, repaint it, make it look all nice and purty. Uh, what else? Foot throttle. Um, I'm sure there's other things I'm not telling y'all because I don't have a brain. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, the hood on the bottom is actually destroyed. The other piece is actually on the front there. I don't know how to fix that. If y'all got any ideas, please, please, please tell me. Because I, I really don't have any clue. Um, It's getting a pan seat on the back. I can't remember if I said that. And, yeah. Nice chatting with y'all. Good luck. Watch all of our builds on ATLTF Forum. All Train Lawn Tractor Forum. Uh... There's a, right now, there's about five guys on there that's entered the build-off. So, make sure you check them out. Please do. And take care, guys. See you in the next video.